Hi all, it's Jason here from the JLT Railroad and uh, tonight what I'm going to be doing is just a quick little update on the lift out bridge and how I've set up the wiring block and the wiring um, for the bridge itself and how I've isolated each section of track and used a, a small toggle switch as a dead switch to deaden the track so what we'll do is we'll just start off um, with the sections of track involved so as you can see here's the lift out bridge here um, and if we zoom in here you can actually see the um, the method that I've used to join the bridge section to the layout section using a couple of um, drywall screws that have been screwed into each side um, the layout, layout side and the lift out section side and the um, I've actually put track feeders in that are soldered to the top of the drywall screws and in the the actual track just runs in there um, and as you can see if we get the video up actually see that it's um, got fairly good alignment of the track there so that's how I've done that um, basically with the, um, the track it's um, been isolated in two sections starting from all the way up here um, from the main line, from this section up here, there's a set of insulated rail joiners up here. And then coming down, it's also isolated here, off the intermodal siding here. And also from the second intermodal siding here too. So with those two points um, on the intermodal side and also the other point up here with the, the main, Basically what will happen is um, underneath the layout, underneath this section here, there's a, um, a toggle switch. So when the lift out bridge is lifted, that then turns off and isolates that whole section of track. So anything on the intermodal side or the main there, that will actually all become dead. So I've got a fair buffer zone. And then also working along the other side, uh, coming across the other side of the layout, there's a set of insulated rail joiners up here. So basically this whole section along here up to that last um, turnout is isolated too. So we've got a fair bit of a buffer zone. So even a train running at full speed, um, if that lift out's disconnected, it, um, it won't end up running off the end of the track. So what we'll do now is we'll just jump up underneath the layout and we'll... Uh, go through some of the stuff that I've incorporated here. Alright, so this is the, um, the toggle switch. Okay, so just positive power in off the wiring block. And if you notice up here, we've actually got, there's a little drywall screw in the top there. You can see it. And basically that's just screwed down and that allows the little tab switch to come down. So this wiring block then runs through, through the layout underneath, back through here, back around into this terminal block. Okay, so this is, um, this side here is the main, the main power feed coming in, into the top wiring block. Um, and what happens is power comes out this side, runs through to the toggle switch, comes back from the toggle switch on this one, back in through, back out, and then back into this um, wiring block detector and the short management detector then through into this terminal out of the out of the short management device in through this series of wires back through and it basically just follows its way back around here up through this hole here and then comes out and then up through this conduit that runs up We'll go through the doorway, there'll be a door frame in there, and basically back down the other side. Back underneath the layout, into this small wiring block here. Wires back through, back into the other side of the terminal, and then up into um, these two joiners here, which um, can be removed. These just pull, just pull out. So as you can see, they're just a little 
pull out wire connectors basically just connect them and then it's just a matter of uh, lifting out the lift up bridge and then uh, that's how I provided the the wiring block for the actual bridge itself and also a safety feature so that if the bridge is removed the trains can't run off the end of it so that's it for that little update for the um, the JRT lift out bridge now and um, hope you've enjoyed that and got something out of it okay bye for now